In this video, I want to explain to you how wireless charging works. Hello, this is Mr. Mobility once again. The regular way to charge a smartphone is to take a cable and plug it into the charging port and then connect that cable to a power source. That power source can be a mains uh, outlet, it can be a power bank, it can be an inverter, a portable battery, it can be a solar power generator. But the underlying factor is that it requires a cable to connect to the charging port of your phone and then to get power from the source. So that's how regular wired charging works. Now, the name wireless charging suggests that you do away with the cable. And yes, in a sense, that is exactly what happens. You see, to use wireless charging, you require a phone that is wireless charging enabled. In other words, your phone has the technology built in and then you require something called a charging station or a charging pad or a charging plate, depending on the design. This is an example of a wireless charging plate. This looks like a saucer of some sort and you place it on your desk or table and how do you charge your phone you simply place the phone on it and it starts charging okay but there's something missing in this image i have just given you where does the wireless charging station or charging plate get the power from aha yes it requires a cable <laughs> so it is not exactly fully wireless the way the image is portrayed right so your charging plate usually will have a cable like this connected to your wall socket and you know you like i said you place it on your desk you place it on a stool you place it somewhere and then to charge your phone instead of connecting the cable directly to the phone you just place your phone on the plate and it starts charging. So how does this work? So you have your wireless charging plate or wireless charging station and it has coils on the inside that generate electromagnetic induction and you have something similar inside your phone. So when you bring your wireless charging phone in plus close proximity, to your wireless charging plate the charging takes place wirelessly yes wirelessly there is no it's not the body of the phone that um conducts anything through the body of the plate it's wirelessly you know but you you rest it on it because you have to rest it on something they are designed differently there are some wireless charging stations that look like this so that you can actually just place your phone sorry <laughs> you can actually just place your phone on it like a, a stand and your phone will charge they come in different designs i have seen wireless charging plates that, that are like pillows right like i said it's not the physical material that matters it's the close proximity so some of these things are designed like pillows you just drop your phone on it and it starts charging that's how wireless charging works one of the disadvantages of wireless charging is it tends to be slower than standard wired charging the technology keeps being improved upon and already we're having wireless charging that can do 10 watts 15 watts 25 watts and it, and it will keep uh, getting higher and higher so we get faster charging possible through wireless charging what you have to do is make sure that the wireless charging plate or station matches uh has specs that match the specs of the wireless charging on your device if your device is rated as having 25 watt 
wireless charging for example then you need a charging station that is also rated at least 25 watts for you to get you know the maximum charging speed possible it's similar to how um, wired charging happens how wired fast charging happens there has to be a compatibility between the plate and between the phone uh, for you to get the maximum speed possible usually between the two of them it's the lower speed that the connection would default to if this guy cannot go more than 10 watts and this guy can do 25 the connection between them will not do more than 10 watts because that's the maximum this guy can do and if this one can do 25 and this can do only 10 the connection between them cannot go beyond 10 because that's the maximum this can do and there's no way this guy is going to squeeze 25 out of this guy the, the principles are the same the only difference this time is that instead of having to plug a cable directly into your phone you are actually able to charge your phone by just dropping it which is kind of cool sometimes you know you're at your desk you know you just drop your phone and walk you need to do something you pick it up one of the advantages of that is that your charging port is not likely to wear out fast if you do a lot of you know or considerable wireless charging with your phone if you have used your phone for a long time you know one of the first things that, that gets spoiled is the charging port because you know constantly putting in the cable and pulling it out leads to wear and tear so That's there it. are all sorts of wireless charging stations out in the market they are different classes different ratings this one is an old one i've had for about maybe seven years now i remember using this with uh, my Sam samsung galaxy s9 plus god knows what year that was it's rated at five watts so it's pretty slow like i said it's an early model and i also use it recently with the samsung s23 i use it recently with the iphone se 2022 that's just two years ago i haven't bothered to buy a more capable wireless charger because i haven't used it much i think i still prefer to be able to charge my phone with a cable at 45 watts at 33 watts much faster than the available charging plates and wireless charging technology i have seen are you know but if you are into this sort of thing if you want to exploit there are all sorts of models out there get on amazon get on best buy get on jumia get on your favorite online shopping platform and you will find a whole range of wireless charging plates pillows stations whatever name they are called you will find all sorts you know to buy from there's always something for your budget and there's something that matches your phone of course i advise that you go for the most cutting edge that you can afford that that way you don't have to change yours every two three years this one is pretty old like i said it's a uh, five watt rated but i mean it does the job it's just that who wants to charge any phone at five watt speed in 2024 i'll see you in my next video take care